The crows apparently begin their day at the local landfill and then they fly in around dinner time to downtown Sunnyvale. So the city is trying to laser in on a solution. <laughs> they flock to downtown Sunnyvale looking for a morsel or two. In their path, they leave unwanted evidence of their visit. Lots of it. Not even the resident wooden owl can scare these crows away. They're really intimidating. It's very, very reminiscent of the birds, like the movies. They've even been known to swoop onto someone's plate. It was really loud and kind of, I don't know, just everywhere. And they make sure you know when they're here. The noise is just unbearable. We have Caltrain right there, but it actually competes with Caltrain in terms of the noise pollution in the downtown area. They are all overpopulated right now. They, there's no denying it. And that's primarily due to their uh, familiarity and their uh, ability to adapt to human uh, habitation. The city is looking at its options, including perhaps falcon hunters, but also a more high-tech approach like these laser pointers. Some residents say they've had success using the lasers to chase the birds off their lawns. So the city is giving it a try. We are currently experimenting with using lasers to humanely annoy the crows into leaving. The Audubon Society says it doesn't have an answer, but is adamant that lasers are not the solution. I have real concerns about the use of lasers. Uh, lasers can blind the birds, uh, which basically is a death sentence for the birds. If they can't see, they can't feed or fly properly. City staff will bring recommendations to the city council in the coming weeks to keep downtown from going to the birds. In Sunnyvale, Damian Trujillo. NBC Bay Area News.